Hi boys and girls, tomorrow's Easter so I wanted to share a story with you. Hopefully you have a wonderful Easter at home with your family and even though it might be, not be the traditional way you celebrate Easter, hopefully it's still a wonderful day. My all-time favorite book is called Betty Bunny Wants Everything. I know I've already shared that book this year with my students in my classroom, but there's actually a whole series of the Betty Bunny books. There's Betty Bunny Didn't Do It, Betty Bunny Wants a Goal, and the story I'm going to read to you today is called Betty Bunny Loves Easter. All of these are reading counts books, so if you want to log in and take the quiz, that's fine, but don't feel like you have to. It's written by Michael B. Kaplan, and it's illustrated by Stephanie Jorich. All of the Betty Bunny books always start out the same way. Betty Bunny was a handful. She knew this because on the night before Easter, she was hopping all around the kitchen handing eggs to her parents, her brothers, and her sister. And that's when everyone in her family said at once, Betty Bunny, you are a handful. Betty Bunny knew that being a handful must be very good because what could be bad about being excited about Easter? I love Easter, Betty Bunny announced. When I grow up, I'm going to be the Easter Bunny. You can't be the Easter Bunny, her brother Henry told her. Only the Easter Bunny can be the Easter Bunny, said her sister Kate. But you could grow up and be a weird bunny who runs around acting like the Easter Bunny, said her big brother Bill. He's always pretty funny in all the books. No, Betty Bunny replied. I'm going to be the Easter Bunny. She knew she would be a great Easter Bunny because she loved coloring eggs, carrying baskets, and eating things made of chocolate that looked like her. She told her family that someday when she is the Easter Bunny, she will deliver baskets full of candy and toys, not just on Easter, but every day of the year. If every day is like Easter, her mother explained, then it wouldn't be special anymore. If every day is like Easter, Betty Bunny replied, then every day will be special. You'll see. The next day was Easter. After church, Betty Bunny and her family arrived at the neighborhood park for the big egg hunt. The egg hunt was Betty Bunny's favorite part of the day. She was practically hopping out of her fur with excitement. Betty Bunny's mother and father gave her a brand new basket. It was the biggest Easter basket she had ever had. This is a good size, Betty Bunny told them, struggling to lift it. I always find the most eggs, so I am sure I will fill this up. Betty Bunny took her basket, and she started to look. Kate nudged an egg with her toe. There's one, she said. Betty Bunny put the egg in her basket. Henry shook a branch. Betty Bunny looked over and saw that there was an egg beneath it. Looks like you found another one, Henry said as Betty Bunny put the egg into her basket. Bill picked up an egg and put it directly into Betty Bunny's basket. How do you do it? Bill asked, sounding impressed. Betty Bunny stopped looking for eggs. Why are you all helping me? She said. <clears throat> we always help you. That's why you find so many eggs, Henry explained. I guess now you're just old enough to notice, Kate said. But we're not helping you that much, she added. Man, you're good at this, Bill said, dropping three more eggs into her basket. Stop it, Betty Bunny cried out. Easter is my favorite holiday. I'm going to be the Easter Bunny someday. I can find the eggs by myself. I believe in you, said Kate. Cool, said Henry. Now I can go throw eggs into the basketball hoop with my friends. And I can go sit in the parking lot and play this egg hunt game on my phone, said Bill. Betty Bunny dumped out all the eggs that her siblings had found. She took her empty basket and she looked for eggs all by herself. She looked on the ground, she looked under rocks, she looked behind bushes. She even looked in the coat pocket of a lady who didn't seem happy about that.
she found one egg. All around her, kids were shouting, I found one, I found one, I found another one. Daddy Bunny did not find another one. She sat down on the ground and she began to cry. Betty Bunny's mother and father came over and knelt down beside her. What's the matter? Her mother asked. I hate Easter, Betty Bunny cried. Easter is yucky. And she told her parents all about how this year she wanted to find eggs by herself, but she only found one. I'm never going to be the Easter Bunny, she moaned. I'll just have to be a dentist. Teeth are always in the mouth where they're easy to find. Betty Bunny's father told her that he was very proud of her for wanting to find the eggs by herself. It meant she was getting to be a big girl. Her mother was proud of her, too. She told Betty Bunny that it doesn't matter how many eggs she finds. Any eggs she finds by herself will mean so much more than eggs that someone else gives her. Betty Bunny nodded and wiped her tears away. She began looking for more eggs. She found one buried in the tall grass. She found another one beside the swing set. She had three eggs in her giant basket. That was all she could find. But her mother was right. Those three eggs she found by herself meant more to her than any eggs she had ever had before. Maybe when she grew up, she would be the Easter Bunny in the spring and a dentist the rest of the year. That afternoon, Betty Bunny's mother saw Betty Bunny going through her purse. Betty Bunny, she scolded. What are you doing in my purse? That is not okay. I need money to buy an even bigger basket for next year, Betty Bunny explained. Then you need to ask me, her mother replied. If I ask you, Betty Bunny said, you'll just give it to me. It means so much more when I find it by myself. I hope you enjoyed that book, and I hope your family has a wonderful Easter. Talk to you later.